Hello and welcome back to Hearts Find 4 with our Ottoman campaign and well the void is in, sort of. I uh, got a lot of suggestions, um, but the overall consensus was not to time lapse anything. Got a several st strategic suggestions. One of them was you know go through Afghanistan, conquer the British Raj, and well free France with that. I kind of I like the idea on one hand. I just dislike it on another. Um, simply because because it just opens up a lot more coastline, and I would like to see. See, that's the kind of the issue. Um, see, there's like a mixed bag here. One end, I don't have rubber. So, um, what I could do is... I need to start this, diff this sentence differently. What I could do is start bombing ships in, these, uh, in the Mediterranean to, and as well around England to lessen the count of uh, naval vessels uh, on the enemy. And, you know, it's a lot cheaper to build a plane than build a ship, which is kind of the reason why battleships become obsolete during World War II and... That actually all large ships by now are obsolete and that there are only a few nations in the world, I think Peru and the US, that even employ cruisers and the rest of the world just employs frigates and um, carrier vessels. Doesn't, you know, large ships don't work anymore because we got a lot of small, very destructive weapons. Anyway, um, we don't have rubber so we cannot start bombing the living crap out of everything. So one thing I could do is invade through Afghanistan. And conquer the British Raj, get a, get a little bit of rubber, because, uh, you know, there is some rubber in the Raj. Uh, yeah, go over here. We got 12 here, we've got 81 here, so it gets us some rubber that uh, we could use. Large majority of rubber is here, but I wouldn't really know how to get there. We might be able to invade through Siam and actually lock this off. We could do that, because I have a bit of an access on, you know, forces in general. Because I don't think I... First of all, I don't need these armies here. And I can skimp off at least at 200 soldiers to protect this coastline. I think. I just said that. Yeah, I can skimp off 200 soldiers to protect that coastline. But I don't know. It opens up a, a whole new front. Um, it's a, less of a front than Africa. Africa's a lot bigger, I think. Actually, I wouldn't even know. Africa's provinces are fairly big. Unlike... You know, these ones. Hmm. Interesting. Um, some of you said I shouldn't invade China. Sorry, never planned on invading China. Chinese are uh, using neutral foreign policy, so that's exactly what we want them to, to be doing. Um, interesting thing here is... Why is he not going for any of this? It says here that he's capable of doing it. Requires all the following, purge of the Imperial Guard and all this So he could do this as well. I don't know why he's not doing it. Defy Germany. Anyway. Because um, that would get... The uh, reason why that would get rid of the... Um, that one. Alright. Uh, anywho, I haven't really checked out Russia yet because uh, Russia seems to be like the AI almost seems like inactive. Just like stop doing anything. Oh, you're close to your economy? Then how am I still importing? Oh, right, because you're my puppet. Hey. The British Raj seems like a viable solution to our problem. Hmm. I was going to split up this army in uh, several other factors. Um, let's see. Hmm. So, let's see. Nah, this is fine. We're just gonna split off the 200 and put them right there. I think that will be do the trick. Kinda wanna split off between um, this penin the peninsula here, um, the Mediterranean area, and then the North Sea area. Um, but I kinda... I'm afraid if I do that, that invasions might start happening in places where we don't have any control. You know what? I'm actually gonna do this by hand real quick. Um... Okay, so I can't double select, that's good. Just need all of these guys that protect the Mediterranean. And we'll deselect all of these armies. So that would mean this is one army. All right, there you go. That's 322 dudes. All right. Then we got you guys. Okay, 
Come on, can I? Give me the selections, thank you. That's about 65 dudes. Alright, let's start setting up the front lines that they actually need to protect. How many do you claim you need? Alright, 50. Alright, so you're good. Alright, there you go. Um, so we'll be recruiting a couple of new commanders to uh, hold this. Let's see, how well of a commander are you right now? Eh, decent. Anyway, um, let's remove your Mediterranean area. I'm kind of hoping that with this that we have a little bit less troop movement. Um, because I can more specifically assign people towards certain bits and bobs and areas. Oh, we actually have us landing there. Good thing that I noticed that. I thought that would be not a, a problem. Okay, seems like uh, I didn't select all of the forces. A couple of red ones still in there. Um, can also be removed. Let's see. Specializing the defense lines a little bit more. You claim you need 91 divisions to protect the coastline here. Well, you got 200. I think that's enough for you. Uh, let's give you a slightly different color. Yeah, blue will do. And then we've got 300 here. So I still need to skimp off some of these troops so that uh, we uh, can defend the border of sorry I'm just talking and clicking at the same time India let's see what we get uh, what we uh, get as a requirement number here and um, some of you suggested just protect ports that's an uh, older videos. Sadly, it doesn't work that way. Um, I wish it did, but it doesn't. 97. So we've got 150 we can roughly take out. Let's see. That's slightly too many. There you go. Click to assign. New commander, of course, can't afford one, but that's not the biggest problem we have right now. So that's the Mediterranean Defense Army. Okay, we say, let's see. This is the Nor uh, Atlantic Wall. These guys are the. Uh, Pacific, uh, let's call it the um, East Pacific Wall. Maybe this is the Mediterranean Wall. Mediterranean Wall, if you even write it like that, but who cares? Who are you? You're the uh, ah, Arabian Wall. And you're gonna be the Indian Wall. Indian wall. As in India, India wall. We'll call them the uh, in Indi. Eh, well, just call it India wall. All right. For now, these guys have nothing assigned to them, but that's fine. So they'll stick at the positions that they're at. Um, this will cause a lot of troop movement to happen. And hopefully that will go all oh, right. Um, so, that's the walls done. Uh, I've got my tank set up here. You see, I need my Mountaineers right now. That's actually a mild point of scariness for me. And I need two more political power to even declare a war. All right. Um... I need you guys to just merely assist, and why don't we... Let's see. Um, 
wouldn't really know where to put them. See, that's the problem I have right now. I don't want to put them here. I really need more guys here. Hmm. Would that be enough? Just a couple of tanks. Well, we'll see. Um, these guys need to be around. So we'll dump them on a defensive position right here. Actually, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, well, uh, let's see. Put some dudes. Oh, wait. You immediately got this one back. Damn it. Apparently they uh, fixed that little issue. We'll put them in here. So it's close enough. And I will just send them around when, they, when we need them. All right. Risky troop movement. Oh, actually, I need you to do something else real quick that now something to the defensive armies uh to give them credit i actually don't need you to hold guard victory i just need you to coastline and don't attempt to lower resistance it's just a coastal defense line that you uh Did I do that right with you? Yeah. Okay. As long because if they protect the coastline, you don't have an offensive point yet. If they just protect the coastline, we should be good. Uh, close air support and airships. Well, I'm not producing scouts, and I'm having a large deficit of rubber still, so that's not going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, you are... You know what? We'll put you right here. Okay, they don't go through the water. Great, that's good to see. Uh, I wish you could just tell... Okay, this is something I would like to see in this game more than anything. I wish you could tell troops what kind of transport is allowed. Because I would like... I would love... I would think that's the best thing ever. I would like to see... Um, uh, me being able to disallow naval transport or ignore these zones like don't travel here just don't do it that kind of stuff because there is troop movement now coming because of these guys are the same as these guys here they see this as the shortest route because it is in time uh, based lines it is the shortest route it is not the safest route so why can I not tell troops just to do that you know be safe really sucks all right, just 30 days for war declaration. Oh, that's fine. That's really good. Okay, so that would open up the front with... Um, with India. I don't know if this is a good idea, but it's kind of the idea we've got. These guys have barely any forces. India has a lot of troops, but hopefully they're crap. Kind of what I'm banking on here. I'm hoping I'm not opening up a can of worms. Well, we managed to win here, so... Eventually, we'll take them on just as well. This looks all golden. What do we got? Unassigned divisions. Um, let's fill this one up to a more acceptable number. If that's one at 200, we'll drop this one at, I don't know. Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't really matter, actually. As long as it gets filled up eventually. I want about 200. This one at 100. This one at 200. Okay, uh, advanced machine guns, nice. Um, you will get a commander. As you know, they they fight better with a commander always than without, so always get yourselves commanders. Can we rename this to walls? These are my walls. Um, nice. Okay, the game didn't really enjoy what I just did, but uh, who cares? Right. Still need a year for that to be finished. That's actually not too bad. Three years ahead of time. Um, let me guess. This one takes 
more production costs. Well, we'll just research it anyway. Uh, that's not a big surprise. I actually thought that would happen. Um, let's see. This is my Atlantic Wall project that I really don't care that much about. But I would like to have it at some point because, you know, cheapens on the fences. And yeah, this is the ones that I want to actually want in there. Good. Um, that one as well. Put them up there. Get our uh, supply lines in order. Seems that Russia is investing in here as well. Good, Russia. Good for you to see that. Let's see. Persian volunteers. Bohemian forces as volunteers. We don't want you. Okay, got that set up. Let's see, what are we missing? Only rubber, good. Kind of need to keep an eye on that occasionally. And war with Afghanistan, which is gonna be, well, I'm gonna call it fun, but necessary evil. Just taking out the British Raj would just we wanna take out as much as we can take out. That's basically the the, the short story of it. You guys will be fine. And well, our Mountaineers finally get some experience. I like the fact that these guys are just as about as combat hardened veterans as you can get them. I love that. Okay, more dudes. Well, you're cranky, just keeps pumping them out. But you got a population left, buddy. Okay, um, justification is done, declare the war. Potential enemies, France and Britain. Well, 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 who gives a shit? You push in, and then you got some support from some other guys. Okay, Russia immediately gets called in, good, because this war just merged immediately. Oh, they officially joined the Entente. Oh, the humanity. Um... First Afghanistan. All right, Persia. Okay, good. You still won't join the faction. You don't even have a neutral foreign policy. It's just something they don't want to do. What I am gonna ask though, Russia, if the moment we take one of these states, it's gonna flip towards Russia, right? I'm gonna ask Russia immediately, there we go, give me the states, ask for control of state, Herat, Kabul, and Dushinbe. This is the one we've just taken, refused, bitch. That's not what's supposed to happen, probably asking for a bit too much. Um, we'll try again. Has at least one of the targeted states as a core. Um, Harada Kabul? Wait, you see the Shuba as a... Wait, what? Do you see this as a core? Oh, you do. Sorry. Kabul and Harada is. Sorry, 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 sorry. There we go. Nice Ottoman territory. Um, 495. That right, we're gonna get there quickly. All right. Um, it's time for these guys to open up the front and you guys to simply assist. Uh, I want you to more be focused on, on that area. While well, you guys are gonna go more. Down like this. All right, go and go. Wow, you just keep going there. 
It's nice to see Ukraine just dump that many forces out. I just don't know how to do it. What are you at? at um, you just got service bar requirement. That's it. But they're going till the end, which is scary as hell in all honesty. Let's see. We almost have 12 of them ready. That's uh, good news, actually. One more. Wow, we're, uh, we're getting those numbers. Well, there is some resistance, but I don't think they're gonna survive. Let's see, this is one too many already. Wow. Um, 65, you are uh, the next one. Right. I think literally Ukraine has provided me with most of my uh, defensive soldiers. That's weird. Is pilot promoted? As long as we can make quick progress here. I don't know how strong the Indian forces are. I don't even know what they're using as kind of an army. Ah, okay, they're using very tiny divisions. If you type sevens, yeah, they use fairly small divisions, so my troops will overrun them fairly. Uh, <laughs> no, Ellie, you just keep your own army. I would like if you would defend your own, uh, you know, borders and that kind of stuff. Oh, okay, all of you. Just hit them. Hard. That's all you need to do, buddy. Do I even... I've apparently produced aircraft, right? Some inward fighters and some inward bombers, and I... I need more of them. I am producing a positive good, but still, you know. Electromechanical engineering. First 1936 researchers are popping in. Well, it's looking good though. Let's see, you're level 9, you can't get any further. Planning speed and maximum retrenchment combat width, reinforce rate, supply weak consumption, that's really nice. You're still getting charismatic, don't know what that does. You're also getting just charismatic. You got almost the same. Just a different order? Yeah, you got the same. You got old guard. Well, you're still level 7, so what are you getting? Still think I prefer them as um, smaller armies. This more has to do with the bonuses, like the supply consumption is nice and all, but if that is the only thing we're getting, well, I think I'll still prefer it uh, like this, uh, with the smaller army stacks. But hey, it's been an experiment, got to get some other crap plan anyway. Um, but I, like I said before, I want to try the specialized division system in a personal game, if, because it just cost me probably a lot of time to exactly figure out how to do that, like proper engineers, uh, tank divisions, and that kind of stuff. I just want to make smaller crap, see how it works out. Probably it's got to be a logistical nightmare for me, but uh, hopefully this is a little bit more interesting to play and to see. All right, um, what do I need? Well, I can always use more infantry equipment, as well as more support equipment. That's all I can produce without too much of a trouble and artillery. We'll set that up like that. All right, wipe out those forces and uh, so far so good. We uh, creating a nice logistical infrastructure system. Let's see, can we... Okay, we're making a pocket here, good. That's always great. Wipe out forces, all that we can. You don't like me. How much didn't you like me? Well, a lot. <laughs> but you, uh... The AI will never join a faction with neutral foreign policy unless they're attacked. Unless they're getting dragged into a war. This is going a lot easier than I was anticipating. Um, get yourself a commander. Uh, might need to promote you. Uh, that's you, right? Yep. Who the hell are you? What are you leading? 
Oh, you're leaving my tank core. Right. That explains a lot. Uh, all of you fast travel right there. I should put none of you in the sea. Nope. Good. Let's start with that. Let's get these guys uh, slowly ready. I might not want to do this just yet, but coastline is opening up, which is a risk. It looks like it's the same as always. AI is unable to sustain that which he thinks he could. All right, we need more wood. Russia, give me the wood. Thank you. Still need a lot of rubber. Right. Um, it's actually not that bad as it is currently. We're winning against 37 here. You guys are attacking the wrong direction. All of you, attack that one. Because that would mean we could lock off 37. Or about 30 British forces. And that looks like a very good idea. There we go. The more we kill, the better it is. Alright, how are we looking at? See, we mil 40 million French are dead. 5 million Russians. Must be some US forces that are... Uh... Where are you? No, not actually too many. We've got 3 million Brits. Well, we haven't been fighting on British soil, so... I can forgive them there. Okay. Nice. Wiping out a couple of uh, divisions there. Very good. Got a few more uh, sitting right there. Pretty good all, all in all. I'm kind of happy with uh, where we're going. They have 60% national unity, so the Raj will capitulate fairly easy. Once we start really pushing through the... Uh, the big lines, and... Uh, Yeah, I just hope that uh, we got enough uh, of these guys to... Uh, I don't actually need you to hold those provinces. Just coastal. That's not a coast, but that is a coast. Let's just set this up. And this might cost them to uh, get into the front line. That's uh, not perfect, but... Um, something. Now I, need, I will get to see how much I'm going to need to defend all of this. Uh, yeah, need you as well, and uh, you. Oh, it's 17 divisions according to this. 17 divisions for now, because I can't own the rest of it, but uh, it should be fine. Right, one of you go there. Good. Big front line, so far so good. Don't really worry too much yet. Um, now they seem to be... Nah, we're still seeing mostly green. Good. Four offenses of combat out of seven. Yeah, that's just... That's perfect. Overrun some more forces there. Hopefully they're not going to do the uh, thing that, like, Oh, well, transport over there. Just go through the sea. No. I wish you could just tell everybody, like, Don't use naval. Just don't. Naval is bad. Okay. Yes, I just made a Mr. Mickey reference. It's time to start boosting part party popularity in the US. I have no idea if that. Nah, they're not boosting their own agenda because communism still exists. Let's take a look. We're around the world. We are bombing here, but we're not sinking anything. Let's see. Get some more divisions here. But yeah, we are at least uh, making some progress, and in the meantime, we'll uh, start uh, playing a political game in the United States of America. Our troops are doing pretty damn good. 
I've got to say, I'm happy with the results so far. So we've got more than enough equipment to uh, do everything I want, so... Uh, that is also good. Another 23 in Delhi. Okay, that's the capital. That's probably one of those fights that's going to be impossible due to... Yeah, there we go. Alright, I need something or another to do that. These are British Raj forces. Alright. Well, let's send in the bombers. Um... Okay, you're done. Good. Managed to get all of you out. Good. Uh, technical bombers. I need you to no longer fly over the English Channel. Let's start uh, bombing this area. And you'll probably need some protection. So, uh, you can fly here as well. It's the only way okay, we'll get through there. Either that, or we just need to capitulate the rest of it, but I'm kind of want to see if it... Probably if Delhi falls, that would mean... I think the mass, most of the... Uh, uh, Indian, India will fall next. Oh. It's a lot of points. A lot of victory points, if we uh, can get that. It's uh, 15 points here. Let's see, we got one point here. One here, one here. Five there. Yeah. Taking that would almost immediately just put them on capitulation. Let's leave the cat. Oh! Interesting. Uh. Sure. Is it that far ahead already? Yep. Okay, but you don't have this land. So that's a bit of a weird war declaration. So, uh, well, Abyssinia... I'm actually not in that war yet, apparently. Well, you can do that by yourself, I think. You're a grown man. Country. Alright. You know what I also would like to see? Our export laws determine, like, for everything. Like, we have to export everything at the rates. I wish I could just min-max this a little bit more. Like, say, yeah, we allow the export of iron steel because we have more than enough steel. But we don't allow the export of rubber because we barely have any rubber, something like that. Why is that our export laws determine that we have to um, export everything or nothing, you know? Why can it not be different? Um, uh, you guys, can you all go back to that front? This one just needs to be under attack, and that's about it. Doesn't need a very large amount of forces to get that over with. Um, let's see. Oh, Raj, you're falling quickly. I love it. I like it. Oh my god. Like, seriously? Nepal? You have uh, almost 200 divisions, which are fully functioning. Wow. Oh, that's commendable. Sort of, I guess. Woo, we're losing our first uh, of these guys. Probably due to attrition, because they're overstaffed. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, you're all... Why are a lot of you in the water? Oh, you're getting there by water, because, you know... Dicks. No, wait, you're going... Wait, what the hell are you doing? That's not in your protective detail. Yet you've got forces going over there. Uh... Okay, Mr. AI, that is weird. Okay, yeah, just what the f... Must be some ancient orders that are still stuck in these forces. Yeah, they should not be in the water. Um, up, 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 up. Right, uh, heavy tank ones. I want reliability up. I want them a little bit faster. And up the main gun. And I can have that, and they're still 100% reliable. 
They take a little bit longer to produce, but uh, they're a little bit heavier. 1936. Um, okay, we got that research. It's about 400 days. 400 days. This one was actually surprisingly little. It's already 1934. So it's all gonna be about 400 days. Alright, 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 alright. In that case, um, let's get that one. Oh, we've got 400 days for synthetic oil, so that still seems to be in line. Okay. How am I going to break Breton? Probably just take their capital. Or Nepal, sorry. Wrong nation. Um... Okay, okay, that was just a save. For a second it looked like uh, we might have had a capitulation going on. I felt a short jolt of uh, the game. Sometimes it means that a country falls because, you know, a lot of provinces need to be flipped. Kathmandu. Let's hope that we can take her without too much trouble. Um, this is not really what I was hoping for. Okay, so, um, let's get at least 10 forces on this front line. I quickly need to get rid of the Kathmandu uh, forces and then we should be golden. Uh, no, do it like that. You'll do it like that. There we go. This should take care of it, hopefully. Nah, he's been retreating a lot of his forces. British Raj capitulated. There we go, that was a lot of equipment that we got. Small pockets here and there. Okay, um, I need to organize this real quickly. First of all, you care about this. There we go. And I want, like, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Six of you on that one. And I want to do this right now because otherwise it's I'm going to forget it. Okay, ten of you here. And Kolkata. Okay, 10 of you, right here. Ten of you on this one. Ten of you on this one. Five of you here. And five of you, quickly, right there. All right, these planes can go back to... Uh, right there, Normandy, and start, keep flying over that one. Start, keep doing that, good. Right, um... Strategic destruction actually sounds a lot more interesting than it normally does. Um, so, um, you know what? Go for tactical bombers. It sounds like uh, a nice one to go with instead of heavy bombing because you know limited um, availability, I guess. Okay, so we just kind of need the entire army to refine itself. Okay, this is good. This is actually perfect. Um, so we can delete here. And we can extend like that. 
Okay, and I hope, just I want to get clean this mess up before I end the video. So this one is going to be running a little bit longer. I hope you guys don't mind. I would be surprised if you did, but you know, it's always nice to ask. All right. Um, just some manual ordering around. Assist with him. Assist with that one. All right. Um, okay. Come on, stop giving me random forces. I want to get this over with at some point. Okay. That should be taking care of that. And that should all end up right here, eventually. And Siam is kind of going to be one of those countries that are like, yeah, sorry, we didn't initially uh, want to take you, but your color is the same as mine, so you're dead. Okay, take care of that one. Okay, taking care of this. Some nice Polish tanks assisting in this attack. Thank you, Poland, for those. All right, that's the end of India, it looks like. Okay, you need a proper f uh, task, so... There's a lot of forces here that can be potentially wiped out, and uh, I want to see that happen. 50 forces locked on in Free France, and then there's this bit of UK here. That out of the way, I think we should be uh, golden. We're gonna, the re yeah, so, so Sam is just simply here because we don't want to get any guys into the water. That's it. Um, and with that, I'm actually gonna end the video. I want to thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Actually, mine is actually do quite a lot. Take India and just uh, one video. Let's go in there. And bye bye.